talking to EA in Houston yesterday about kind of switching spots there. What was the thinking behind that? And well, I think you know we lost some real veteran leadership in Cam, and uh, we wanted an experienced guy in the middle. And uh, you know, so we moved Jordan Iosefa there as well. And you know, it's early in camp, so all those guys are going to play both spots inside. So we're just trying to get a feel for a couple different combinations in there. And then you have Solo back now. What have yeah. you seen from him so far? What, what's his potential this year? I think he's got a lot of upside. Uh, you know, taking the year off uh, was allowed him to learn the defense and kind of get acclimated to college life. And um, you know, I was really impressed with his aptitude in the meetings last year, and that's carried over so far in the spring as well. He's a very uh, businesslike kid uh, that wants all the information you can give him. Clay said he asked you to simplify, you know, the scheme this, this offseason. Kind of what led to that? Well, I think. Um, you know, I've coordinated every year but one since 2003. And uh, every year as a coordinator, you go back and look at things. And I think that when you looked at the personnel that we had coming into this year, uh, or coming into this spring, how can we line them up differently? How can we put them in the best spots possible? And so that might have led to that some. Greg Johnson's back today. Where's his status if he is? Uh, he's back at our practice today, yeah. Trying to make sure he's on the team? Or? Well, he was at practice today. You, know, you can ask Coach Elton about this. I think the boost is that, though, you're so thin in that spot that having our guy back in our scholarship guy. Yeah, it definitely helps. Um, you know, we got a, a few guys coming in in the fall, but we yeah. got to get through spring. And, and uh, you know, Isaac Taylor Stewart's getting a lot of reps, and, and uh, he's had a good couple days so far. Uh, it, you know, we just, just don't have the numbers out there right now just because of an injury standpoint. But um, the guys that are injured are working and learning and, and trying to get better, even though they're not taking a lot of reps. How much does that limit what you can accomplish this spring, not having those bodies out there? It's not going to hold us back at all. We're going to, you know, we've uh, we got our menu. And we'll, we'll go ahead and install that in the spring, and, and uh, we'll let it ride. You know, at different times, maybe not quite as bad right now. Uh, but the good thing is those guys, you know, the OG and, and Greg, the guys that can't go full right now, Max, they're going to be there in the fall. So they're, they're, you know, getting valuable time in the meeting room. And then, like I said, some guys are doing non-contact, so that helps them as well. Just thinking uh, in the inside linebackers and mm-hmm. positioning, you know, John and Mike and uh, and probably at the, at the will. Mm-hmm. What's the thinking there? Well, I think when you look at the way football is these days, there's not really a, a Mike linebacker that's a downhill thumper. Everything's played pretty much a high percentage of the game outside the hash marks and you know from the numbers to the sideline. And so uh, in this defense, the Mike and the will athletically are going to be very interchangeable. Um, and that was really the thought process. And, and you know, EA played really well into the into the. Uh, in the Notre Dame game at the dime linebacker position, which is into the boundary a lot. And, uh, you know, he's an explosive athlete, so we're, you know, trying to get our best guys out there in the right spots. And so taking a look at him there uh, in spring ball would be uh, beneficial for, for uh, him and us. And he has lateral quickness and ability to take people down. Oh, yeah. Do yeah. Yes. He got thrust in there. They're early last year, obviously. How has he come along in the playbook and understanding the defense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been outstanding. He's, uh, you know, the game starting to slow down for him, and, and uh, you know, just being here the second semester, and, and uh, uh, there's a lot of things that that uh, he had to adjust to. And plus, he was injured in fall camp. I think he got injured the first day of full pads and missed all fall camp. So uh, he's got, you know, made progress, and real excited about where he's at right now. The D front gonna play it different this, this year. They're gonna have a different look to him. The D front. Well, I hope so. <laughs> I know it's only been two days. So how can you assess Brent Allen so far? Uh, you know he's uh, really got a unique skill set where he's got the ability to play corner or safety. And um, so far, watching him move around out there, he's helping us in corner right now. Uh, really liked his tape in, in, in high school, and um, so he's he's a guy that's. You know, coming along, and, and we'll look forward to seeing him get fast. Clay mentioned that uh, the defensive scheme is going to allow for more, I guess, guys on the down, the more D linemen at the, at the same time. Was that is that something you think will benefit? Well, the just defense? from a valuation standpoint of where our numbers are, and uh, where more maybe more of our talented guys are along that front, um, we'll have the ability to play different styles up front with the edges. Do you think more down linemen helps you in the run game? I really do. Yeah, no doubt. It's been a pretty tumultuous last few months for you guys. How you guys as coaches make sure these guys stay focused? Uh, they've been very focused. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, we 
we had one meeting and talked about last year what it's time to move on and we've kind of put it behind us and taken things from that just like every year and learn from it and we pointed those things out to the players and as coaches we took a long look at that as well and uh, we're really excited about moving into spring and getting on to next year. How have players responded? Pardon me? How have players responded? Yeah, I've been really happy with what they've done. They've, they've come in and worked in the offseason program and um, you know we've got an opportunity to work with them a lot on the field. Uh, in the conditioning aspect of it, getting them ready for uh, spring ball more than more so than usual. So it's been a been a good mix. What stands out about the new assistants on your side? Uh, I've been real happy with them. Uh, you know, it's been two really good additions. Um, you know, not only from a coaching standpoint, but from a recruiting standpoint as well. well what, what does Greg bring to that spot? What, what's different about his style or unique about the way? He well, does? I think Greg's a very good teacher. Um, that was one of the things that really jumped out at me in the interview process. Process. He's a very good communicator. Um, he, you know, he's very knowledgeable, has a lot of experience. Uh, he's coached in the NFL and in college. And so the things that were important to us from an evaluation standpoint, he checked those boxes. I know it's early, but can you tell that there's more of a sense of urgency from guys out here? Uh, you know, it's, it's only a second practice. I, I'd like to think that, um, you know, their, their attention to detail in the meetings is carried on to practice, and there seems to be a lot of energy out here. Going up against that air raid like offense, you change anything of how you practice as a defense? No, I'm, I'm really excited about uh, going against it every day because it really helps us not only in the running game, but fitting up a lot of control passes. Uh, the communication with the linebackers, the safeties, safeties, the linebackers, corners, the safeties. Um, it's, it's really good for our defense to be able to go against this type of offense to see all the different passing concepts, particularly this early in camp, as it's allowing the guys to get a lot better in pass coverage. I just want to make sure that I have it. I want to describe it accurately as far as the simple idea that you're simplifying the defense. Yeah. It, it, that that is an accurate way of putting what's well. What's going uh, on. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, I've coordinated every year, but one uh, or since 2004. So at the end of every season, you always go back and look at the things maybe you did good and the things you didn't do so well. And uh, I think the most important thing was putting the players in the right spots that we had because we have some different different style bodies within the front than we had last year. And um, so there was some things to allow those guys, hopefully, to get involved in the defensive front by maybe some simpl simplification up front. But uh, yeah, you're always looking every year to get better at that. How do you think that helps you? Uh, things? Well, it's too early to tell. We've just been out here in shorts. I, but you know, I like uh, Drake Jackson. I like Nick Fer Figueroa. Um, you know, those those guys body type wise gives us a lot of flexibility. We didn't see much of Taylor Stewart last year. Sir, obviously. What's the one thing you want, you want to see from him this spring? Or he has to show you the kind of and just just consistency with his finish uh, on every play. I think is the biggest thing. We were really excited about where he was at before he got that high ankle sprain. Um, I believe it was during the week of the Arizona game, and I was ready to start playing him. And you know when when he went down with that, and it looked like he was going to take a long time to, to get healthy. Um, you know, it's kind of like, well, let's wait and see how he looks in the spring. And just really like his skill set. And I really think he's he's got a really big upside. He's, he's a fun guy to coach. And that's the really, you know, we're young in the secondary, but it's a really, uh, it's a really good group. I think that's going to develop quickly. Thank you. Thank you.